it's a, uh, a slavishness to the story and adapting your style to the story. Um, when I say the people I admire, I mean, you know, you look at John Huston, who did this extraordinarily disparate body of work. The only thing that unites it is whatever story he chose to tell, he said, what's the best way to tell the story? Um, and those are the people I emulate anyway. I mean, you know, that style of per Barry Levinson. You look at a Barry, you know, wh how, what unites the natural and Tin Man, or Tin Man, um, and Rain Man, and Good Morning Vietnam. They're all well made. But the style, the style is a function of the story. Um, so I'd like to think, and I think that confounds people, because I think people, it's easier for people if you, if you always make similar things, you know? Um, but, uh, and I think that's true if you look at my movies. My movies, I think, are all different. I do think there is this, as I said to you earlier, at the end of the day, there is this thing about, uh, you know, men and women that seems to run through all of them, but I'm not conscious of that when I'm actually making them. Um, but stylistically, I think they're all very different. I hope they're all very different, they're very different stories. I'd hate to think I'm repeating myself. I think, again, we've seen so much television and films, so much visual literature, that what we tend to do is when something starts, we go, oh yeah, I know what this is. I, 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 I. We do this kind of thing, and I, I think that's, that's the death of pleasure in television and film. So, and I find that when you outline things and when you make Bibles and when you create arcs, you then become sort of slavish about making the characters and everything conform to those preconceived ideas. And you can feel that in the narrative. It, they start to, they bend and shape themselves into that thing that you recognize, which is why you go, I, I know what this is. Okay, the girls in the cabin, okay. So I don't do that because A, I'm a snob and B, I'm easily bored. So what I set out to do is keep surprising myself. And I keep, to do that, I keep waiting, going back to the moonlight thing, I keep waiting for the truth. I'm not glib enough in an outline to figure out what that truth is. I am, but I know a good idea when I, I know when I hear, there's a woman, she lives, she's real. She's a real person. She lives in Phoenix, Arizona. She's 29 years old. She wants to be a judge. She's going to law school. She's working as an intern in the district attorney's office in Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, and she thinks she talks to dead people and she thinks she can read your mind and she thinks she dreams the future. Oh, oh, and she's married to a scientist. I know that's a good idea. Do I know what that whole curve of that pilot is? I have no idea. And that excites me. That's what keeps me going, is I don't know what the story is. I haven't seen it before. I don't want it to conform to something that I've seen before. Because those are the, to me, that's what's exhilarating. When you see a film or a television show and you go, where'd that come from? Holy mackerel, I've never seen that before. I've never seen anything like that. That's to me the interesting thing, you know. You know, you can't do you can't do a musical dance number in the middle of a detective. Thing. You can't do rhymes. You can't do jokes. You can't break the fourth wall. You can't. You can't. Sure, you can. And then you you can't do an episode about God and whether people believe in God. And you can't make those jokes and then do that. You can't. You can't. Sure, you can. You absolutely can. Absolutely, you should. You know. Um, Otherwise, why are you toiling there? Because then, if the other were true, then anyone could do it. And why do people do what I do? I believe they do what I do because in some small way, they're trying to, they're trying to extend their life. They're saying, let me leave something here. Maybe when I'm gone, somebody looking, go, oh, hey, that's interesting. Because I know that's what happens to me. I'll sit and I'll look at like a Frank Capra movie. And Frank Capra's been gone a while now. But for a moment, I'm with Frank Capra. I'm with Alfred Hitchcock, you know? Um, I'm not comparing myself to any of those people, but I'm saying the impulse is the same. You want to you wanna say, here's the way I was thinking. Here are the things that amused me. Here's what touched my heart. Here are the things I thought were total horseshit. You want to you wanna leave that there because you want to believe you mattered. You know, Some people do it through public service. Some people do it through science. I do it with this nutty stuff.